It's less than two hours to go before the big reveal at 5 p.m. UK time when we finally get to discover the magic that AMD has worked on its Zen 3 5000 series processors. Yes, there will be 5000 series and not 4000 as I concluded way back in May 2020 because AMD had already released their 4000 series APUs which are based on Zen 2 and not Zen 3 i.e. last gen. So but so much confusion in the minds of many prospective buyers assuming that for instance a 4700X and a 4700G were of the same generation when they are not. What IPC increase will we expect to get? My expectations since May have been to expect an increase of between 15% and 22% since which time there is speculation that single core could achieve a gain of as much as 27% whilst multi core a gain of about 15%. What about price? It is highly probable that the prices will be very similar to that of Zen 2 3000 series processors. Though there may be a small price hike near the top of the range i.e. the 5950X could sell for $799 against $749 for the 3950X which if it happens will be not much of a surprise given the widening gulf in performance between AMD CPUs and Intel CPUs. So AMD is beginning to monopolize the CPU market and thus charge higher prices. Will we get a 10 core processor? so that it directly compete against Intel's 10900K which was the focus of a video I did early September. Whilst there is no news on this front however it would be a good strategic move for AMD to release a 10 core processor that clocks at least 5 GHz with performance tweaked towards beating Intel's 10900K in terms of gaming performance benchmarking and of course frames per second. Anyway not long now to wait though for all those waiting for news on Zen 3 Threadrippers then we will likely have to keep waiting for announcement due probably February 2021. Meanwhile Intel will continue to die its slow death as their CPU releases keep getting kicked down the road all whilst AMD marches on from Zen 3 to 5 nanometer Zen 4 next year. If Intel cannot compete against Zen 2 then how are they going to compete against Zen 4 let alone Zen 3? And finally here once more are my estimated Cinebench R20 scores for the Ryzen Zen 3 processors of how I expect the SKUs to perform. Where latest news suggests the single core performance could come in better at about 25% performance heights whilst multi-core will be worse at gains of about 15% over Zen 2. So swings and roundabouts. Personally I will be very happy with single score, higher single score benchmarking and slightly worse multi-core performance than my original Cinebench estimate scores of a couple of months ago. If everything goes to plan then my next system build will likely comprise a 5950X CPU a 16 GB RTX 3070 Super GPU coupled with 64 GB of RAM powered by at least a 1000 watt PSU. Not long now, let's hope AMD does not disappoint and there is enough stock to satisfy the market when the CPUs are released in about 2 weeks time. And that the resellers have measures in place to prevent scalpers from buying up all the stock within seconds of stock becoming released. Though likely most of us will have to wait until at least mid-November before we can actually get our hands on a Zen 3 processor. And hopefully before Christmas, I want my new system to be built and installed by latest early December fingers crossed. Hope you all get your wishes come true as well and the scalpers get punished. Do not buy a, any GPU or CPU from a scalper. Let them suffer the little 
Anyway, not long now before we see Zen 3.